friend the war in Ukraine is to negotiate an end to it. We, we, uh, and, and stop paying for all of the, you know, the, the, the butchery of these kids. 400,000 have been, my son fought over there. And, you know, there, there are 400,000 kids, each one of my parents have died in that war. And, uh, and the war should have never happened. The Russians have offered two times to settle that war on extremely beneficial terms to us. The one thing they wanted was to keep NATO out of, of Ukraine. And why do we want NATO in Ukraine? Why do we want it? Well, you know, there's neocons in the White House who just want global hegemony. But the thing that really drives it is when a country joins NATO, it has to integrate its weapons purchases. So it has to have a uniform uniformity in the kind of weapons they buy and the kind of ammunition they buy. And that means they have to buy NATO approved ammunition and guns and weapons. And those are all US companies. So there's a huge lobbying that happens on Capitol Hill to try to move NATO into as many, many markets as possible so that they can sell their weapons. And if you look at, you know, um, and then, you know, the, the neocon ideology is we got to get rid of Vladimir Putin. We got to, what Lloyd Austin, the Secretary of Defense, said in March, he said, um, we are in NATO to exhaust the Russian army and degrade its capacity to fight elsewhere in the world. That's not about Ukraine freedom. President Biden, when he was asked, said, it's regime, we're there to do regime change with, with Putin. That has nothing to do with, uh, with, with Ukraine freedom. It, it, what it means is Ukraine is a proxy in a geopolitical war between the United States and Russia. And we need to start recognizing that we've been lied to again and again about that war. The Russians tried to settle it with the Minsk Accords. And the Minsk Accords, all they did was say, NATO will pledge to stay forever out of Ukraine. And that's a reasonable request from the Russians. Russia's been invaded three times for Ukraine. The last time they were invaded, we, Hitler killed one out of every seven Russians. You know, it, we wouldn't allow, we put Aegis missile systems, which are nuclear capable, in Romania and Poland as soon as we made them NATO members. We, I know what happened when Russia put nukes in, in uh, Cuba. My uncle was present. He would have been forced to invade if they didn't withdraw him. The Russians know we're going to put them there. We already put them 12 minutes from Moscow. We could decapitate the entire Soviet leadership in 12 minutes. Now we want to put them 400 miles from Moscow. They're not going to allow that. They'd be insane to do that. We would never allow them in Canada or Mexico or Cuba. So, you know, my uncle always said, you've got to put yourself in that the shoes of your opponent. Well, you know, we, we're not doing that. The, what, what we're doing, Russia tried to settle this when we overthrew the government of Ukraine and put in our own government in 2014. And they began slaughtering Russian eth ethnic Russian Ukrainians. They killed 14,000 of them. And Russia started, at that point, trying to create a peace treaty uh, France, Germany, and England all approved of it. They negotiated together, called the Minsk Accords. All it said is, we'll leave Donbass and Lugansk as part of Ukraine. But by that time, Donbass and Lugansk had voted 90% to come to Russia. And Putin said, no, I don't want you. Stay in Ukraine, but let's have a peace. Let's make sure you're a semi-autonomous region that can protect its citizens and speak its language, which our installed government had illegalized. So um, Zelensky ran in 2019. This, Zelensky is an actor and a comedian. Never been, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that because that's what my wife is. <laughs> but, but he had no political experience. How did he win the presidency in that country? He had, his big gag was dressing as transvestites and slipping on banana peels. That's what he did before. <laughs> But, so how did he win? He won because he had one issue. I will sign the Minsk Accords. He got in there and then he pivoted. And we all know why he pivoted. He was threatened with his life 
by ultranationalists within his own country, in his own government, and he was told he could not settle the war by Victoria Newland and the neocons in the White House. Then, right when the war starts, January, the Russians go and negotiate. Zelensky goes to Israel and Turkey and says, oh, the Americans won't help me negotiate a peace accord. Will you? They negotiate a new peace accord that essentially is Minsk Accord II. They sign it in March of 2022. Biden sends Boris Johnson over there a month later in April and forces Zelensky to tear up the peace accord. Practically nobody had died in Ukraine at that time. Since then, 400,000 have died. We didn't need this war. This war was our choice. And I'm not justifying Putin. He shouldn't have invaded. It was illegal and brutal. But we need to look with honesty at our own involvement.